Why Antarctica is a desert, even though it's covered in ice? It's the coldest place on Earth. It's covered in ice. And yet, it's officially a desert. How is that possible? A desert isn't just about sand. It's defined by how little precipitation it gets. And Antarctica gets less than two inches of water a year on average. That's drier than the Sahara. Antarctica sits under a permanent high-pressure system. Cold, dry air sinks and spreads out, blocking moisture from moving in, so almost no snow falls, despite all the ice. The ice cap is thick, up to 3.5 kilometers. Temperatures at that altitude are 35 degrees Celsius, colder than sea level. So even if the world warms a little, most of this ice won't melt anytime soon. Ironically, warm oceans actually help Antarctica gain snow. That's because warmer water evaporates more, fueling snowfall when it drifts over land. That's why Antarctica gained ice after past warm periods. Mountains like Kilimanjaro and the Himalayas were snow-free during the Ice Age. They only got their ice caps when the oceans warmed, proving, without moisture, cold isn't enough. So next time someone says desert, don't just picture sand dunes. Remember, Antarctica is the biggest desert on Earth, and it's frozen solid. If that blew your mind, hit the like button. Got more science mysteries you want explained? Drop them in the comments. Subscribe for more strange truths, cool science, and facts that don't sound real, but are. See you in the next one.